All right, good morning, everybody. It's the next morning, and it is an absolutely beautiful day. The sun is shining down through the, through the forest. There's blue skies, no rain at all. Rained all last night, heard it on the tent. No bears came through. We did hear something come through, but it sounded tiny. So uh, we're gonna start making some breakfast, pack on up, uh, go on another trail. Just completely different than yesterday. We got blue skies up there. The sun's coming down through the forest. Okay, first morning update. We've uh, disassembled the camp, sort of packed things up here. Um, we're trying to make some pancakes on that same griddle we did yesterday, but um, might have to abort mission soon. It's not really going too well. <laughs> As you can see, not really going too well. Yeah, that didn't cook at all. So we might uh, just make some peanut butter jelly sandwiches and uh, head out to the trail and clean this up. <laughs> I think that's an abort mission. That's an abort mission right there. All right, next time, plan better breakfasts. Well, you know what? This doesn't have any raw eggs in it. Are you, is this going to go on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bite of this. Mm -hmm. Boiled water straight out of a, was it, Big Run over there. Doesn't taste good. Doesn't taste good? I mean, it tastes like liquefied pancakes. <laughs> so not good. No. All right, well, I think we'll uh, get rid of this get rid of this failure here and uh, make some, make some PB&J. All right, guys, so we are leaving Camp 126 right now. Always remember to practice leave no trace. The only thing that we are leaving here is more firewood for the next guys. So Camp 126, you had everything we asked for, and then some. We're gonna go head out to a trail now. See you there. All right guys, so it's just a beautiful day. We've driven about 30 minutes away from the campsite. Haven't seen a car the entire time. We, this is our trail right here. It's looking pretty rough, and it looks like tick heaven, so we're getting bug spray. It says, entering wildland managed for habitat conservation, watershed protection, hunting, hiking, fishing allowed. Well, great, that's what we're doing. So we're gonna go climb the mountain. It's just a beautiful day. We finally got some resemblance of blue skies. I think the rain's gonna hold off. We're really excited. Supposedly this is the best view in Garrett County. Completely different type of trail than at Backbone Mountain. Looks like we're going up an old emergency road. You can see the tire tracks, so something's driven up here recently. Definitely pants are a must because this is all tall grass and lush undergrowth. So we're probably about a mile in and we found some uh, blooming mountain laurel. This is one of my favorite plants. It's just so pretty. Can only really be found out here in Western Maryland. Within the state, it's found throughout the Appalachians, but within Maryland, it's really only out here. There's also some uh, sassafras right above that. So really pretty plant. Didn't really expect to find any blooming, but awesome. Okay guys, we've made it to the top of the mountain. We gotta kind of sort our way through this, and then we'll be I would be able to look out over the Savage River. Looks like there's an old chimney here. This is high rock. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow. wow! Look at this. Oh my gosh, you can just see forever. That's the whole Savage River down there. Wow. It's just, this is like pure nature. Like the only thing you're hearing right now or seeing is just the sounds of nature. Is it a hawk? Is it a hawk? I don't know how to identify birds. That looks like a vulture. A There's a fire tower right here. Man, these rocks just keep going along this ridge line. This is insane. We were just thinking that the coolest part about this is that the fact that this chimney is here meant that someone lived up here at one point. So props to them. They picked a good spot. Okay, guys, so I'm in the fire tower now. Probably not the smartest move, but... I really don't think 
you will ever find a view more beautiful than this in Maryland. I used to think it was Annapolis Rocks, but here's the thing. This is 360. So I'm just gonna pan around here. You can just see forever. We're going down the fire tower right now. There's nothing that said not to go up it, and we figured, well, I mean, if it was unsafe, they would close it, right? But you can definitely feel it shaking whenever you go down. <laughs> Jeez, that's slippery. What's down there? So this rock, completely suspended, it's a big open space, and then that rock right there, can you see like there's a, another big boulder that's suspended as well. It's nice and cool down here. I'm sure there are no bear dens anywhere on this mountain. You think there might be bears down there? No. <laughs> Stop, you're smiling. How good are bears at climbing? They can climb trees. Can they climb this? Probably. Okay, who do you think can climb better or slash quicker? Probably, probably, I'm gonna go with you. You can tell I'm an expert on bears. All right guys, so Michael was tossing around this little branch he had that he had cut and he was planning on whittling it into a bear and he was just tossing it around up in his hands. <laughs> he dropped it and it rolled down the crack. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing but he's so sad. Is there any way to get it? I mean, unless you're like eight inches thick. <laughs> Don't even try it dude. We gotta get going. Ugh. That was a good run. Are you ready? I'm already recording. Oh. Okay guys, we are going to end the day in the Savage River State Forest here on top of the mountain. Seems fitting given the surroundings. We have some dark clouds moving in behind us and uh, being on top of a mountain with a giant fire tower behind us is pretty much the opposite of smart thinking. So this has just been a really incredible experience. I've loved the Savage River forever, favorite part of Maryland. And uh, it's really amazing that we got to spend 24 great hours out here. Hope you enjoyed the video. I have a feeling I'll definitely be back to this place because it's so beautiful. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for next week's video.